Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? It's your guy, Mr. 945, coming back at you with uh, another one. And wanted to share with you guys today my EDC for this week. Um, actually, recently took this one to the range. Um, usually what I try to do, I, I try to, whatever I'm planning on carrying for the upcoming week, I try to go to the range and shoot it. Um, if I can't get to the range, then I really just kind of rotate back to what I previously um, or most recently shot. So I try to carry what I am most newestly or I guess familiar with, um, you know, as because as you all know, at least for me, I rotate my, my EDC. So I do want to make sure that, you know, even if I don't get to the range as often as I like, that I'm still proficient with everything in my arsenal. So that's what's up. So recently took this one. This is the uh, Springfield Armory uh, RDP um, Hellcat, Hellcat RDP. So we are clear. So this is the 13 round mag. Uh, it does come with a 15 round mag and a 11 or 12 round mag. Um, and, Let me see here, this, which one is the, oh, both of these are the 15, and here is the, what is that, yep, the 11 round mag, so here's the 11 round mag, so just to, so you guys can see, yeah, I have a lot of mags for this one. This is the footprint with the 11 rounder in there, 11 plus one. Here is the 13 plus one. And here's the 15 rounder. So the 15 rounder is actually pretty good in terms of grip size. Um, and you see those mags shoot out there pretty good. But yeah, so again, we are clear. So yeah, so recently took this one to the range and it wasn't a bad shoot. As with the Hellcats, in my opinion, they are a bit snappy. Um, even with this little comp or whatever they put on there, it is still a little bit snappy. I do have to, I forget how it compares to my Shield Plus, but I'm going to do a side-by-side -side shoot between this one and the Shield Plus. Um, with this comp, it, it basically takes the barrel out to like 3.7, 3.8 inches, almost four inches. Um, and before, if I am not mistaken, before, who was it, SIG comped the 365, this was the first micro handgun that had some type of compensator on it. Um, but now you see that Palmetto State is comping their micro dagger. P365, they have the comp on there. Um, I don't know if anybody else did a comp. I think Kimber comped, put a comp like this on their, uh, one of their Micro 9 1911 carry joints or whatever. So I think this one was actually first though to, to do that. Um, this is pretty cool though. It's a self indexing comp. You just kind of push that tab right there and it can, you know, you can kind of turn it on and twist it on and off and, and all of that. So it, it, it doesn't take much effort as far as like with timing and all of that, getting the right timing on there. Um, but yeah, so not a bad shoot. This, this is pretty good and we already show clear. So trigger pull or whatever, this is a pretty good trigger in my book. So you're right there pretty much at the wall, break. Reset, break. So very crisp, very audible, very like tactile. Um, it's a heavier trigger, so to speak. But again, this is a defensive purpose firearm. So most of your triggers are going to be heavy in anyway. Um, but not bad. It, it wasn't a bad shoot. Again, it, it is a bit snappy. I still don't care for this, this shield uh, red dot because the dot is not bright. Um, I don't even know if you can even see it in there. Yeah, it's very faint and it's even more faint coming up on the camera, but it is very faint. 
I'm not a fan of the Shield RMSC, so I've been talking about replacing it and I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, I really just mainly shoot through the irons um, or the regular sights, and I don't really, you know, necessarily look to find the red dot. But yeah, the U notch with the green uh, tritium uh, front sight, that it's actually pretty cool. So. Um, I usually just go go in and look to that when I'm shooting this one. So, but yeah. So it, uh, overall, um, I will post some range footage of me shooting this as well. Um, I have to. I have a tendency with this when I'm gripping it. I'm gripping it over the the slide stop, so the slide doesn't catch back at after the last round, or doesn't lock back after the last round. But that's because of how I'm gripping the gun. Um, there is a little bit of texture right here, and I try to index my, my my support hand right there while I'm shooting. But again, I'm mostly like that, so that's what's causing the slide not to lock back. I noticed that when I was at the range, so I'm like, oh, okay, I know why that's not, not happening. So, but yeah, um, all in all, though, a decent shoot. Um, hotter ammo, 124, 147 grain. Yeah, this is gonna be snappy as all hell. Um, definitely recommend 115 grain defensive ammo um, if you can roll with it um, to kind of keep that recoil down a little bit. But if not, just definitely, you know, get a good, good, good grip. The grip on here is pretty, pretty decent, but I did go with the whole grip because um, again, my, my hands are pretty big, as you guys can probably see. My hands are pretty big. So with that, I wanted something to kind of fill the palm of my hand a little bit more. That's why I did the whole grip on there. So originally, the grip itself without the whole grip, it's it's fine. But I just wanted something to fill my hand a little bit more. So it doesn't change, you know, how I carry it or anything like that. It's still lightweight. It's still thin and compact. Um, all of that good stuff. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, I guess that's about it. I just wanted to chat chat with you guys about this one. But yeah, so that's it. Um, I'm going to go do some cleaning, and I will see you guys on the next one. But until next time, as always, keep training, stay safe, keep protecting our, or supporting our two-way rights. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you care to choose to do so. But until next time, I will see you all in the next video. Mr. 945, I'm out. Peace.